New Zealand will be a, a wounded animal we have to be aware of for this week? Yeah, obviously they'll be disappointed we're losing the game and you know, that's a beauty free game. You know, they've still got a chance to pull it back. So you know, if we don't turn up this week, you know, last week is pretty pointless. So we just need to you know, train hard again and back it up this week. Obviously the players who, who were coming off the bench last week were looking to make that impact. Are you pleased with the impact you, you had on the match? Yeah, I, um, I only got on the last 18 minutes, but I felt what I did you know, was good enough. Um, I made my tackles and I didn't really do much wrong. So yeah, I felt it was pretty solid in the last 20. And you were on with Josh Hodgson at the same time, uh, adding an, an extra dynamic? Yeah, Hodge, you know, he's uh, plenty of skill. He can play you know, in, in a few positions. So, uh, well, they can keep him on the field. I think it's a good thing. And, yeah, I don't, like I say, I don't mind working you know, together and sharing that role. When you reflect on the, the first test, uh, how pleased was it to be to be back in that test arena? Oh, yeah, really pleasing. Um, obviously, missing out last year, like I said before, was disappointing. So, yeah, just to get you know, pull the shirt back on again, listen to that anthem and, you know, just be out there on the field with the boys, yeah, was uh, pretty special. We were... Uh, over in Hull for the, the first test. We're back in the northwest for this one. It'd be great to see Warrington fans turn out in force to, to cheer on the England team. Yeah, I thought it was a great crowd there on Saturday. So hopefully, you know, um, over this end, we can back it up and um, you know, get Anfield rocking and hopefully fill it up and that'll be another good uh, spectacle.